Hello everybody, my name is Anthem, welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Iron 4 as, I guess, the NKVD now, because Lesesco got shot in the face five times. Uh, not a great look, all things considered. Okay, the NKVD has been triumphant, not a big surprise. What are, like, there's so many options here now. Benevolent rule, peace and order, we were misguided. Just let's get justice for the dead. I think they, you know, that sounds like a fair a treatment. Hopefully they just stop. I, like, I don't even know who we're fighting. Like they're supposed to be killing me, but it's not uh, working out well for them. They're not actually attacking. Like it. Like I don't know. Like I can't move these troops, right? No, there's nothing I can do. So I might just. Okay, you guys go up here like quickly. You need to be in that province in the next six days to do the attack. And you'll be there in four days. Okay, so we'll almost barely uh, make it. Okay. I think that seems fine. Of course, you know, we could be attacking these other guys as well, but I am... Attacking our biggest opponents because again, th these are the only three countries that actually matter within the mod Clearly are the most important things we can do okay, They're trying to raise the issue. I don't know what they're actually else are planning on doing Apparently their defense stat is very high though 150% country commitment to the war It's the goddamn NKVD They're making everything worse uh, the raid's being successful, not a huge surprise. I'm gonna just keep these guys right in the middle of the country just in case anything else happens. Again, I can't attack because I was so close on being able to actually do something. Uh, important new industry equipment. Again, I don't know if those actually make any difference. Yeah, and I don't think these do anything either. Like, I don't think we'll ever be able to actually uh, push those claims. So I'm guessing for this, we need all four. We're going to need to get all of these um, traits to get us to believe in a rule. People have no doubt support us. Uh, the age of NKVD begun. Justice for the dead. Uh, even if Lesesco's reign is over, the brutality of such a regime will remain a black stain of Russian history. Most of those claims by Lesesco's reign of terror will have to be turned over to their families. Uh, this will be a painful for us because we were the ones who acted on these orders. Uh, for those who did not have a family to go back to, we will honor in the memorial uh, designated for the unknown victims of the Soko. Memorial uh, will be a simple plaque detailing the number of victims killed by Soko and his men. Uh, we hope that these small gestures will give uh, help us win back the support of the people. Hopefully the country can mourn in peace and turn over a new leaf. Uh, we get a little bit more political power for 100 days. Not really that much. Actually, these ones don't require the, these ones. Like, we can just do these two. Which is odd. I'm, I'm gonna do all of them anyways. So that's the ability. Your political power. You're an event. These are both events. So let's get peace and order. So for for once the NKVD are actually like the good guys, which is odd. Uh, considering, you know, all of history. NKV where we are the NKV who are you dissatisfied against? Also, you're at 6%. I don't understand. Like, we can't actually do... Okay, I, I don't know necessarily what's happening. Can we do any of these things yet? No, not yet. Not quite. I mean, there's nothing I can do about this. Again, 6% doesn't seem like it would be high enough to really give us uh, penalties. It's a little bit odd to me, but sure. Uh, Lieutenant uh, quietly smokes a cigarette and watches the sun slowly set on the city. His men call him uh, Dera, on account of his old age, being one of the oldest men in the 22nd. Uh, he had been proudly serving since the organization's formation and even before that of the OGPU. Uh, he had seen the Union's glorious rise and marched with it even after its ig uh, ignoble fail. Uh, he had seen the best and worst of humanity and now he wondered which side of the spectrum he stood on. They, they had served evil. Uh, he knew that, they all did, but unlike those young men who looked up to him, he did not pretend as if it was Lesesco who had made him the monster. 
Uh, he had personally shoveled uh, men in the back of trucks and sent them to the gulags, shot prisoners as part of some grand political game, and had looked away as Lesesco and his crony stuck children with all manners of pricks and needles. He had served for over 30 years, but he did not know if he could be proud of that anymore. Was there a part of him anymore that could truly believe uh, they could have become better? A part that, Dera, uh, he heard a voice behind him. Old man, uh, we're all heading for a game of cards. Your shift is over. Are you coming? Shoulder Alexander asked him with half smile. The boy readjusting his too large cap. Yes, he answered. Let's go inside and let's think of nicer things. Okay, 15%. I mean, this doesn't do anything. I, like... What happens if this hits 100%? Do the NKVD cue the NKVD? I don't... I don't know, it's just odd. I'm just gonna shrink this down because that doesn't make any- I don't think we're gonna be able to do it at all. Get some raids, but... Again, this is just for a little bit of stability. That's all it does. It also makes war support go down. It makes actually everything else kind of, like, worse as well. Is there any research text we have? The next one comes available in 1970, so the answer to that question is no. Uh, we can get some more decryption and encryption, so I, you know, why not? Yeah, so we're gonna piece an order in uh very soon, seven days. And that's gonna give us a an event. See what that actually does for us. So the mountains decapitated. Attack, defense, stability, and war support all de by down by 50%. That is uh terrible. So we want to remove that as fast as possible. Everything else is looking pretty good. Tallying the dead. Okay. Uh, the familiar sight of the NKVD trucks would uh, greet many citizens uh, all through today. For the first time, they came with a different purpose. Per Bunkov's orders, the NKVD um, arrived not to gather men for the Sesco, but to enforce the peace of a fragile region. Some ar uh, argued that the move's the rather blunt one, and there are some suggestions that we should act not too hastily, and we should enact resistance. Uh, our motives are pure, however, and we have nothing to fear. Uh, let's get stability. I think that's gonna be uh, fine for now. And just one second, there's gonna be a little bit cut in the video, but don't worry about that too much. Okay, sorry about the slight cut there, but... Oh, uh, someone just, uh, showed up and knocked on my front door. So anyway, national focus, what are we doing? Uh, we got a piece of order, We're probably gonna have an event popping up there soon. Well, I guess, I guess we were misguided. You know, get the pop-up ones out of the way first, because... Uh... I don't know, playing, playing this mod for a while really strains your voice, because there is a lot of talking you have to do. Did we not get up an event? Or did I, I think, or did I already read the event and I'm just dumb? Oh yeah, they gave me the uh, plus five stability for the war support. Never mind, I completely forgot about that, even though it was literally just like two minutes ago. We have 185 political power. I don't think there's literally anything I can spend it on. Like, there's nothing. I, there's nothing I can do with political power. I mean, I can prepare raids against people. Anyway, you might as well. I don't want to attack- like, I- The Wanger is odd, because... We have to go to war with him at some point. Uh, that much is, uh, for certain. But I don't want to lose manpower fighting him right now. And I, you know, I definitely much rather be on the defensive, because, like, we have that negative 55 or negative 50% attack and defense penalty. Until the Mountain Decapitated, uh, goes away. And I don't know where that shows up. Is that here? Okay, we had to get down to Benevolent Rule. Not a big surprise. Okay, so we, we were misguided. Our efforts to maintain power following the removal of Lesesco has met a significant roadblock, mainly in that much of the population still remains wary of our men. Most many more remain utterly uncooperative. Uh, to counteract this, uh, Bunkov has declared that his intent to address the issue in a revolving with Lesesco directly through a radio address, hoping that the even the uh, far-flung villages would at least have one functioning radio. Uh, the details of this speech have not been fully planned out yet. Debate uh, of the rage about what our NKVD played in assisting Lesesco, and how much of this we should relate to the population. I'm going to tell them completely the truth, because I I have so much political power. I don't care. I don't care about it. Um, one civilian factory trash. Two infrastructure trash. Um, stability plus five percent. That's literally the only thing here that matters. Um, little power plus fifty. Oh, worthless because I have nothing to spend it on right now. I'm sure once we get past the initial phase of the NKVD tree and go into the um, the next level, which I guess gets unlocked 
as soon as benevolent rule is uh finished which i'm assuming um changes depending on which oh this requires all well, which one do you need reunited loved ones okay never mind this actually needs all all three it's very weird how this is actually laid out but anyways I'm assuming by which options we choose here, by revealing how much uh, we're actually doing, and if we're being peaceful sorts of uh, people, depends on what this will lead to. At least that's my best guess. I don't think there's any other things that pop ups. Not that I can see necessarily. But yeah, we do need all of them. So we'll get them ASAP. Uh, let's attack this guy, because I don't think you even have an army. You have three divisions, but I don't know where they are, so you should be an easy kill. Yeah, we'll get that done in six days. We have no loot. So it should be an easy, easy fight. Okay. 28 days. Just go fight them. I don't know. Do they have any manpower? No, they have no manpower. They have three divisions. So who knows? I'm assuming they're actually probably were down here fighting against a Wangler. We're gonna lick our wounds. Do they sell the events? Okay, it looks like they lost their bonuses they got from soldiers are uncontrollable and people are not. Oh no, the officers are content, but the soldiers are disloyal. Okay. Yeah, but they they lost all their bonuses that they got from Lucesco, obviously, because you know they're all dead. Okay, one troops actually decided to show up to help defend. A second troop is now deciding to show up, but I think you might die before he arrives. Fantastic. Relics of the past. What do you give us? Yeah, this guy's just going to show up, but that's fine. Machines or memories. One of them was okay. The other one, I'm pretty sure, was terrible. Machines, I think, gave, gave you a free military factory, which is pretty good. Memories of the past. Oh, free military factory. Okay. So do these all have different things? They have initiate raid, but, but I'm not too sure they give you different bonuses. Okay, and with our extra military factory, I'm going to spend it onto the, here because I, even though we don't have the resources to make it, uh, we do need them for reinforcements. Even if we're making them at an extremely slow pace, it is necessary. Okay, so we have uh, eight more days until we can liberate the test subjects. Giving us 50 political power. And then I guess we just... Uh, constructive science. Ability goes up by 5%. Research speed goes up by 7.5%. Rebuild local communities. Reunite loved ones. Let's get some constructive science in here, I guess. I mean, it seems like that makes sense. Do we have a better general than this guy? We have a 3232. 2331. You actually are probably better. Entrenchment speed, reconnaissance, planning speed, a chance to get wounded, I literally don't care about. And you basically don't do anything for us. So let's get, I'm going to put you in charge. Who was actually, I'm pretty sure, the leader of the actual country as a whole. Okay, so we can go for scavenger, equipment capture ratio plus 3%, or fortress buster. Neither of those actually seem uh, good. They, they both seem basically bad. Also, I can put these guys under a field marshal. Why have I not been doing that? That's a great question. Uh, let's go for enough. Defensive doctrine? Organization also moving. Yes. And plus one attack. I think it's good. Gods of the North. Uh, yeah, uh, that was another event somewhere. I don't remember which of these countries it actually is affecting. I'm assuming it's probably uh, this one here. But I'm not really too sure. Probably actually doesn't actually affect anything yet. At least not for the time being. Yeah, you have almost 300 political power. Like, what am I supposed to do with all this? I have nothing to spend it on. I, I don't. I, I'm so wondering if the NKVD's loyalty is also still like going up. It might be. 
Okay, so loose ends. It is clear to Commissar Fyodorov uh, what the outcome of this investigation will be. Burning clear. He wipes away tears of a hidden storeroom in the village. The pictures uh, given by anonymous witnesses are brutal, nauseating, utterly inhuman. Bodies splayed out in possible configurations, some of them lacking. Classic uh, Let's Go Fight Horror Theater. Uh, he must bury the witness uh, in the only drapes he can bestow, the drapes of justice. He repairs his scattered belongings here, a camera, there are no pad, bracing himself for what is to come. At least the death toll will be accurate, for it will be the only memorial uh, these people have. Perhaps uh, Central will see fit to, if he notices something in his wallet list, NKVD personnel involved. A missed detail. No. Centru uh, censured hastily. Name looks familiar. There is a, here's a vowel. There's a consonant. He fills in what he can together. It sounds like an old friend of his, and he realizes nothing. The bullet reaches his spine before his cognitive uh, faculties have anything to say about it. Commas. Sar Joseph Masvich cries silently as he drags the corpse uh, to the shallow grave he has dug. You and my mother, he mourns. You are my mother. Wait, what just happened? Um. Okay. I don't really know what's happened. I think I just. Someone just shot their mom. But that might also be like a little. That might be too literal of a reading of it. So we're almost at 300%. Uh, percent. The mounting decapitated. It'd be really nice to get this gone. Stability and war support going up by 50% would be really nice. Reach the speed stability. Again, most of this. Once Million Factory, I guess, is useful compared to infrastructure, at least. I don't know how infrastructure helps us at all. Reuniting loved ones gives us 500 manpower. Wait, no, it gives us 500 and power. Uh, let me just correct myself there. Okay, let us get New Dawn, get a free civilian factory, let us prepare another raid against... Might as well go against the same guy, as far as I can tell, it doesn't actually make a difference. And if it's like last time, the AI not might not be able to actually respond to me quickly enough. And we just basically get uh, a free victory here. Okay, so our attacks are at 30... Uh... Not, actually, as a country, we're only actually at 5% penalty. Which is odd, because I thought we were having a negative 50% penalty, unless we're supposed to have a plus 55% penalty for our country, uh, as a total. Now, so apparently the enemy actually was not as far as, as I would have liked, but we still won pretty easily. We got a spoils of war, which I'm pretty sure is just 500 guns. Let us build some new schools. Again, I don't think that actually matters too much. Oh, they actually have 6,000 manpower again. Which is not wonderful for us. They have 6,000 manpower. Orsk has 400. So apparently now we are at the... Uh, we're at the low point. We're, we're in the uh, situation where we don't want to be in. New Dawn. I mean, they're not training new troops up, though. Which is odd. I don't, I don't know why. We're going to be building some new schools, getting a little bit more stability, 325 kilo power. What am I supposed to do with this? Like nothing, it doesn't do anything for us. We got five more days, so this will rebuild local communities and we'll, we will uh, reunite some loved ones. Okay, is there any actual wars happening right now? Oh, wait, they're trying to raid us? I've never seen the Euro League actually raid us before, so I'm very surprised by that. Actually, no, the South African War is actually still going on. How the hell is that still happening? I have no idea. How many people have died in this? 140,000. Republic of South Africa has lost, like, way more. Not a big surprise. Yeah, basically, there's no facts. The Cold Prosperity here, though, is still going quite strong. I think every is everybody here, like, fascist? I think so. More or less. And that's all directly owned by the Japanese. Okay. That's fine. So we should be able to hold our position quite well. If they want to lose men and organization against me, that's completely okay. After action report. Due to sensitive nature of the material attached, this report is classified uh, to A. All non-authorized personnel reading this report are to be liquidated. Oh, shit. Uh, attachment, please find referendums 1 through 7. Detailing. Okay. Summarize the combat reports of commanders as per NNM 1 through 7. The committee has issued collective remarks as following. Combat action undertaken areas against forces of the Euro League. 
Um, have been declared a success. Casualty reports have uh, an information extradition. Extraction operations on captured assets suggest high effectiveness in combat strategies and, and on disorienting and neutralizing enemy forces. Is this supposed to... I feel like this is all, like, before Lysilco event. A quest for further analysis on information gathered on enemy troop concentration areas, enemy uh, formations, and battle groupings. Information on military and civilian personnel from military intelligence organization committees attached below. They can orders from central committees, con uh, constellation forces, prepare comprehensive casualty and damage reports. Yeah, now this feels like it's a little bit old. Like, this should have been happening before the NKVD were in charge, but... I'm really not too sure. But I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. So thank you for watching my thing. If you enjoyed, remember thumbs up. Not do I kill you thumb down. Make sure to subscribe and goodbye.